and welcome back to WCCF Tech TV guys this is Keith again and today we're going to take a brief moment and we're going to talk about the AMD Radeon RX 480 and the power consumption and whether it was fixed or not well when the initial launch drivers came out for the RX 480 the guys over at PC Perspective and Tom's Hardware found that it was drawing a good bit more power from the PCI Express slot than it should be now there were concerns over whether this was going to damage motherboards or not we reported on it and e even though we, we got a 480 in we didn't see any issues with ours but then again we don't have the equipment to test the way these guys do and this is really good that they did this now the drivers released the other day uh, 16.7.1 to supposedly fix this power concern issue and according to another article by Ryan Shroud over at PC Perspective it appears that it has but how much has it affected the performance? Well, that is something that we could test on our own here and validate for ourselves. So we took the exact same test system that we used for our written review in the description below and we applied it again with the seven, the 16.7.1 drivers and enabled compatibility mode just to see the performance impact of running compatibility mode that's supposed to lower the power draw even more. So let's take a look at what it, how it affected 3D Mark, a uh, few games, as well as the power draw. Well, in the end, you can see it pretty much stayed within margin of error. There was a slight increase on the GTA 5, which that was a game that apparently saw issues, even though we didn't see them on our card, but it's good to see a nice uh, measurable gain on that. The Witcher 3 saw decent gains, and, well, quite frankly, the power draw dropped enough, and just the fact that we're seeing gains in games and a reduction in power draw is definitely a good sign. So... Definitely, uh, if you're running an RX 480, there's no reason you shouldn't be running these drivers. Or if you're looking to get an RX 480 and you can find one in stock, there's no reason to be concerned about the power draw anymore because it looks uh, like it's been kind of corrected. Well, that's been it for today, guys. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech. Feel free to like this video and subscribe to stay tuned for more content that we have coming out. And we'll catch you all in the next one.